What's up everybody? Well, I got another Alienware M18 with a 7 Hard M gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna try some Watch Dogs. Now, the Asus G15 Advantage seemed to play it just fine, but it did have some stutters. So I'm curious if it's just the game on Ultra just does that, or is it just the Asus G15 Advantage does that kind of thing? So I figured we're gonna just keep going, just play it on everything just for fun. I don't know if it's gonna even do ultra wide or whatnot, but we'll figure that out when we get to the ultra wide computer. But in any case, we're gonna start off at 1080p like we usually do. And unfortunately, OBS does not want to record this game. I already tried it on the mini PC and my Asus G15 Advantage. So it's just something about it. Just on the mini PC, it was a black screen. It wouldn't give me nothing, no sound, no nothing. The other one was no sound, but I at least saw like the beginning of the like Ubisoft logo, but it was just frozen there. It didn't do anything, no sound, no nothing. No matter how many times I restarted it or Steam or the game or the computer, nothing. Couldn't get it to work. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with camera only gameplay. So I apologize in advance for that. I've kind of liked getting the screen recorded gameplay now that I've got that down, but sometimes it just doesn't cooperate. So it is what it is. So we're just going to have to deal with that. Just wanted to get that out. So we're going to go try and 1080p out, see how it does. Let's go get started. All right. So here's the settings we're going to do 1080p. Textures on Ultra. We're just going to leave that on MSA 2X. I mean, we could turn that up, but I'm just doing the presets, so. In any case, that's the bottom. So why don't we go ahead and hop into the game? Alright, here we are in the game. So let's just run around for a little bit. Seems like this one has like tiny ass little stutters too. In the frame times. So it might just be the way the game does it on Ultra. Or it might be an AMD thing, who knows? Once we get to the Intone and video thing, we'll know for sure. Oh, sorry. But this definitely looks like really good on an OLED with HDR. It's just auto HDR, so it's not as good as you know. Like, real HDR, but still looks pretty damn sick. Alright, at least so far my CPU isn't hitting 100 degrees constantly, so that's good. Easy on the horn! Please rewind video. Yeah, it seems to do pretty damn good. I wish we could see if we were CPU bottlenecked. But unfortunately, Afterburner doesn't really give us a lot of info on that stuff yet. I don't know if it ever will either. This is like, I, I'm, I could be wrong, but I think this is still the only laptop that has this GPU in it. So, I wouldn't really expect anybody to put any effort into that. Maybe there's a way, I know there's a way to use hardware info, but every time I try to use that, it's not all off to the side, and it seems to be like great for advanced users who know what they're doing right from the rib, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing with it, so I can't seem to make it look as nice as Afterburner. That's why I use Afterburner anyway, because half the time you can't. 
can't overclock and the GPUs anyway on these laptops. So most people ask me, why do you even have that? And it's like just the ease of use of afterburner, really. some uh, interesting skills. It's uh, doing a lot better with the frame times now. I'm sure it'll still have little ones here and there, but it seems like it's smoother than the Asus was. But this thing is quite a bit more powerful and more expensive, so you would expect that. trench coat flapping like that. I think that's just it's gotta be something to do with the physics being broken when you go over a certain FPS. Probably 60 would be my guess. Although who knows, maybe the PC version just does that. Nope, I'm walking. I go. You stop. Cars. Can you hurry please?
I hope the second version of this game will let me straight forward. Uh, seems like that's taking me out to the middle of nowhere, so I guess we'll just turn around and go back this way now. Actually, no, I guess that's not the middle of nowhere. I think that's back where I should go. I know it's just like subconsciously following where I was supposed to go. To the hideout. Well, I'm glad it put me out here and not just in my hideout where I immediately had to just sit through like 10 minutes of cutscenes or skip the cutscenes. Half the time I'll just skip them. It's not like I'm playing for where we are right now anyway. I can pay attention to the story and anything anytime when I'm on my own time not trying to make a video for you guys, you know? So I prefer to be able to just get footage like this where I'm running around in the city. minutes of footage for that and it seemed to have smoothed out with the frame times and everything maybe it's just because I got to a less frame time stuttery part of town I'm not sure but regardless it seemed to do a pretty damn good job so why don't we go wrap this video on up well that's a wrap for Watch Dogs at least at 1080p on the Alienware M18 with a 7900M and it seemed to do a pretty damn good job. Still had a few stutters here and there in the very beginning, just like on the Asus G15 Vantage, but it seemed to just even out and not be so stuttery. So that's definitely cool. And it was obviously getting a lot more FPS than the Asus G15 Vantage was because a CPU is way more powerful. GPU is more powerful. I don't know how much more powerful, but quite a bit more powerful. So I would say that's probably why it did a little better. But in any case, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video. It's time for me to go get started on the 1440p version of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video though, cause I sure as hell enjoy making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.